Hi everybody, I'm Lance Koike. Today we're talking about the dumbbell row and probably the most common error that I always see that is shrugging of the support arm. So generally when I'm setting somebody up in a dumbbell row, you've got two feet secured somehow on the ground. Maybe one knee is on a bench. Maybe the other foot is on the ground. Maybe both feet are on the ground. And then you've got a hand on the bench. And oftentimes I'm doing this exercise for this hand on the bench. That is the hand that I care more about. It looks like a rowing back muscle exercise. And, you know, I want you to load those things because I think it's fun and I think it's good to build that fitness. But I'm really concerned with what the support arm is doing. So uh, we're talking about shrugging. That's kind of like the main everything. Um, I'm going to tell you that a lot of stuff is going on here. If you watched my last video, we talked about side bending a little bit. Um, I would probably work through that first. I think that oftentimes the shoulder is shrugging just because that's all it can do. All the air on that side is generally pushing it up and it's destabilizing the shoulder. So the only way that it can, it, it, the only place it can go is up because the air is pushing it up. Okay, so I need to exhale. I need to side bend over to that side and then I need to learn how to get kind of comfortable there if I'm going to worry about any sort of shrugging that's going on. So that's step one. Watch the last video. Do some of that side bending over to your support arm. Start on the right side. It's generally a little bit easier there to find that and then just try to make it feel the same on the left side. <sighs> side bend. Okay. Once you get that, generally the shrugging has gone away because the shrugging is again, it's just a byproduct of the position of your core area, your rib cage. Um, what does it look like? So from head on, um, generally I got a lot of air in here and I can feel my neck turn on really easily <laughs> on that upper support side. And then I just row here, but all I can feel is my neck here. I don't feel my rowing muscles very much. So what I'm gonna do to fix it, I'm gonna exhale. I'm gonna bend over to that side. And then I'm gonna just make sure I not only bring my hip up toward my shoulder, but I'm also gonna bring my shoulder down toward my hip. And that's what will get this full side bending that I'm looking for. So exhale first, hip up toward shoulder. I feel it, shoulder down toward hip. And now I feel that whole left side secured. And then I can row from there. Hopefully that makes sense. I would definitely work through it incrementally like I did in the video. I teach it this way on purpose because I think you need to take some of your roadblocks away before you're ever going to get to the end goal that you're looking for. And that is probably the most common error that I see in the dumbbell row.